Quick stop at the post office while the tractor's warming up. Gonna drop off my fingerprints to go to the FBI so they can make sure I'm not a criminal. So I can get approved to grow a little bit of hemp this year. We're just gonna try a little bit, just a little bit. See if you like it or not. I don't know, is it good year or not? We'll find out. All right, next day. Come on, girl. She'll start. Give it a second. Okay, well, that's warming up. Let's fill it up with some peas. A little muddy from yesterday, as you can see. Take care of that when I get back in the yard. All right, hogger time. Okay, well, we have um, a unit outside that's that color that needs that oil in it. It's a little low on hydraulic uh, oil, so I'm gonna roll this cart out. Yeah, when you know what you're doing, you, you can be on a roll. Okay, I got it filled. I guess we're ready to head to the field. Cody, you wanna go? Wanna go in this? <laughs> That's the way he gets on the mud sometimes. There is no way to get over across from there to there. He's gonna have to do the stairs or I'm gonna have to do the stairs with him. All right, Kobe, let's see what happens here. Get it in the field. What do you think, Kobe? Uh, new experience? All right, there. Just wrapped up about 400 acres in this area. So I gotta wing it up. We gotta go down the road a little ways. The next field I'm gonna go to is one of our bigger fields, like 300 acres. So that'll be a lot better for this toolbar. The issue we've been running into with it is well, one, it's awesome. That's a good issue. The bad issue is. Well, our fields aren't coming out quite right as far as the amount of swaths it takes passes. 57 feet came out pretty good on our in our spacing of our field. So usually you didn't have a whole lot of waste. In other words, you weren't double seeding over yourself to finish up that last strip. Well, at 70 feet, there's less passes, but it changes the final pass. So some fields have come out okay. Some fields I'm overlapping 50 of the 70 feet, which kind of stinks. And obviously we don't have uh, sectional control and this isn't a disc drill, so it's not like you can just go over the top of your previously seeded crop. So, but that's okay. We're figuring it out as we go. Ah, beautiful though. Beautiful weather, really nice day. One thing I've been learning is setting the depth on that thing. Uh, I thought I had it set pretty good and then I went out and checked uh, a couple hours later and it was seeding about an inch deeper than I wanted to be. <laughs> I was putting peas in three inches deep. They'll come up, it's soft, but that's a little on the deep end. I don't like to do that. I'd rather be out two or a little less than two because when the land roller goes across, it's gonna mash it down and push these ridges over. It adds more soil for it to push out of. So um, I just adjusted it. Now it's a little too shallow, so I'm gonna set her back. But I'm just checking over here. Otherwise, looks good. 12 inch spacing is gonna be kind of fun to see how it works out too. It's a little rougher to drive across, but honestly, it's not terrible. So we'll see, I think pulses like a little wider spacing. 
All right, let's go down the road. See all this nasty stuff? This is Russian thistle. It's terrible. It's got these little spikes all over it, and they stick in like needles. Like a little porcupine. Not fun to get on your skin. You feel it. It sticks to your clothes. And there is a lot of it out there from last year. I sprayed it all out, killed it all. But there's still plants that are uh, here, and when I'm getting on my knees, working around stuff, I feel those things. It's really fun. I don't recommend it. When we moved all the tubing to the front to make it a toe between, we kept the original hoses, but the distance that the hoses have to go to connect increased. And we thought there was enough hose length, but there's really not. It's a little tight when you wing it out. So when I actually go to wing it out, I take them out of the cradle. So that way when I'm in the field, it's got play. But when I'm driving down the road, I pop them back up in there. We gotta order a roll of a two inch hose and we'll throw it on there. Take up a little longer, won't deal with that. Oh, look at that. I'm getting low on fuel. Probably only 100 gallons left in there. So I've burned about 400 gallons and I've done about 500 and a little over 500 acres. All right, I got the depth, I think, correct. At least uh, I'm gonna check it and when I get up to the other end, we'll see how uh, it uh, is what I've set it at. But I've got uh, the GPS signal dialed in, and uh, it seems to be working well. Um, getting used to the CVX transmission, uh, it's awesome. Um, you don't worry about the engine, you just throw, put the, this throttle all the way up. This one here I have set at a minimum, but it just in case the fan if you slow it down so the fan doesn't slow down so much but actually it keeps the fan running right at the speed whether this engine's going uh higher rpm or lower rpm it just seeps it at a at the solid uh setting that i am around 30 3500 uh actually it bounces around because the sensor is bad but you can hear the sound out there that it's just constant you've got this dial right here and if you want to change the speed a tenth or a half a mile or whatever you want to do, you just rotate that speed one direction and it will speed up. So I'll, I'll just go ahead a little. So I'm doing 5.1, I do it a couple clicks. It will sense the load and then adjust the engine accordingly. So you, uh, you have a constant speed and then the engine will adjust to the power it needs so awesome it's just uh yeah it's, it's a lot of fun experiencing uh this new technology do you remember rabbits it's locked in his brain i hope we get to see some and uh, get to show that on the channel check it out seatbelt i guess i'm uh, like a hundred thousand pounds going uh 20 two miles an hour down the field. It would be bad idea to have a seatbelt on so I don't hit this. Yeah, cool. It's day two 
of seeding for me. Uh, Nick's been seeding with the other tractor for a couple more days, but uh, we got it going, got this going yesterday. And uh, so my first experience driving a CVT tractor, <coughs> and uh, I'm telling you, Case IH really got it right on the CVT. Uh, if you're looking for roughly, this is uh, 540 horsepower, has a bump up when you need it, but uh, as far as, if you're looking in that uh, horsepower range, I'd definitely look at a CVT transmission tractor. Uh, it is awesome. Just a number of things that I've uh, learned to use um, is the three settings here on the uh, programmable ranges. And so all you got to do to flick between the two is just toggle that switch and it automatically downshifts into the next one or upshifts into the different programming ranges that you want. So I have a low one that I only want to go you know, let's say 2.3 miles an hour, so I need to inch up to something, it won't go over that. With that range, I can just slide this all the way forward, and it will only go up to that um, speed, and the engine will uh, correspondingly run at the level needed. This is a very sweet machine, I love it. Um, really enjoyed running the controls, learning it. A lot of flexibility. Um, the case IH has put into this machine. Well, I got the call. Uh, I was just kind of cleaning up around the shop, putting stuff away, fixing a few things that need to be fixed. And the call was, I need seed. Okay, I'll, I'll go get you seed. All right, on my way. What is it, boy? Get it! Get it! Get it! Made him look. And just like that, he's good to go for a while. Okay, back to the shop and find little stuff for me to do. Trust me, it's not hard for me to find stuff to do. Don't wake the baby. <laughs> oh. I don't know if you guys have heard in the past, I've talked about how we've had wind lately, a lot of wind, this last year and a half. Who knows where this barrel came from? But it is in the field. I'm getting it out of the way. Nick called, he needs seed, but I gotta go get a little bit of seed in the truck. I got some time, but let's fill the truck full of seed, bring it down to him, fill him up, go back, keep cleaning the shop or whatever I'm doing today. I'm all over the place. Going pretty good. I uh, offboarded the child, so we're good there. Um, but I'm almost out of seat. So leg arms is here at the truck. Yeah, we're gonna fill up. And keep me rolling so I get this this uh, field all knocked out. 300 some acres. This one. It's, it's a big one.
we go. Just knocked out 300 acre field. The better part of today, all of today, pretty much. Love to jump across the road, get to another 80 acre piece. And we'll knock that one out. Everything's running really good. So far, so good. Got about 860 acres seated so far with this rig. My dad's in the Stagger, and he's got probably 150 done so far. So we're getting about the thousand acre mark. Yellow peas. Exciting. Go to bed. 